Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. Here we are back at the witch farm or future witch farm. It still looks like a witch hut. But we're going to be working on the witch farm today. Hopefully get it done. So anyway, let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the witch hut that we came across last time we were together. We took a kind of a wide meandering journey to get here, taking a look at a couple of different areas. And we decided on this one and let's bring back our HUD. There we go. And on the way, I found some donkeys. I've brought one over and hopefully he hasn't disappeared on me. Let's see. There he is. Okay. So we got some donkeys and I'm going to be using them to travel back and forth for the time being because we don't have another portal set up. I don't know where I want it, so I'm not going to bother right now. Instead, what I've done is continue kind of like in the last season. We want to do overland travel. And so I have cut in a path. I had to do some, some searching on our overview map and I found a pretty good path to, it connects to a road that Lapis Lori put in for her Venice project. So uh, do take a look at that in the Hypermind subreddit. Feel free to go check that out. And a number of other Hypermind members are going to be joining in that project. And I might take a, take a stab at a building there as well. But for the time being, I need to collect some materials. We've got a rather big project ahead of us. I need to collect some materials and most of my stuff is back at Port Hypermine or at the Iron Farm. So I'm going to go back there, get the materials, and then we'll come back here. But I wanted to show you this little path. So what we're going to do, you can probably hear some music maybe starting soon. And we're going to do a little speedy up it to get all the way back to Port Hypermine. It is a bit of a journey, so we're going to speed this thing up. Well, there you have it. That is the pathway from Port Hypermine to the future witch farm. And again, these villagers and the doors. Okay, let's get away from that. So you saw some of the things along there, including nether rack bridges. Aren't those the most beautiful bridges you've ever seen? I think we're going to keep those around for a while. No, I'm just kidding. That pathway represents a decent amount of content also that we're going to be working on from time to time. So we are going to be doing bridges, proper bridges in the future, but that's just to lay in the initial, initial road. So the first time it was just little dots of netherrack here and there, and that's been a few passes back and forth just widening it and fine tuning some of the some of the details you saw it got stuck in a couple spots so we'll be ironing that out as we go along but anyway i've got some some materials to collect so let me do that we'll load up the donkey and if you've got a suggestion for a name for any of these donkeys so these are all mine so all four of these if you've got a suggestion for a name for any of them do let me know and we can 
put that in. So anyway, I'm going to go collect those materials and I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, we are back here at the site of the future witch farm. I've got a little bit of progress done and we've got some chests here. First one we're going to take a look at is the materials for the farm itself. So it's pretty simple. This is the main part right here. This is just some extra stuff. We're going to be going with the design by Suzuma Void and I'm going to link his tutorial down in the description box below. So feel free to check that out for yourself if you want to do that. It's a pretty simple build. It's not the most efficient in terms of fastest spawn rates or anything like that, but it's pretty good. And if we can condition the environment correctly, then we're going to be looking at you know, two, two to 5,000 items per hour. And that's a wide range, but it all depends upon cave lighting and, and all that stuff. So we're going to get this farm built and then we'll work on conditioning the environment and that's going to be a long-term project. We'll get some other hyperminers involved in that as well. But around the perimeter here, we see some stone brick slabs. And that is a line that signifies being 24 blocks away from the farm, from the edges of the farm. So this is where players need to stand to make sure that stuff can spawn on all parts of the farm. So... If you stand in here, then only the far section of the farm can spawn stuff. If you stand over here, the entire thing can. So that's just part of standard mob spawning mechanics. Uh, out further, uh, can we, we should be able to see it with the Chidi Optivine zoom right there. You see that? So that line of stone brick slabs is 128 from, the, from each edge of the farm. So that is where our perimeter is going to be going to so we'll see what kind of perimeter we end up doing i'm i'm not going to commit to anything at the moment so we'll see anyway what we're going to do now is i'm you know i've already started lining out the platforms where the witches are going to spawn so i'm going to go off camera and build this farm i'll bring you back for a progress report after that well, ladies and gentlemen we are back i'm just going to put away some of this here and let's take a look at the progress thus far there we go. Yes, I did the entire farm, at least the main mechanics of it, off camera. So what we've got here is, uh, well, it's not quite done. What I've got to do is add some water back here behind these pistons. And then what's going to happen is the witches will spawn in here. And that'll pull those pistons down, which will then allow the water to flush them off and go down here, which is the next part of our project. So we've got three layers on here. And uh, yeah, so I've got all the, each of the layers done. We just have to go back and put that water in. And then we've got to work on the drop chute. So that's going to be the next thing. I've got to carry that down 33, uh, 32 and a half from this block right here, or no, is it this block right here. So I've got to carry that down. So we're going to have to dig. There is a bit of a cave situation under here. I've taken a look. It looks like there's a pretty big ravine system under there. So that'll be interesting to deal with. And let's see, what else? In the meantime, since I've been waiting for getting a little bit of recording time, I've started the process of clearing out our perimeter. So I've carried most of the outer perimeter all the way around. We've got a little dark oak forest over that way. It continues into forest hills over this way. So I've still got this back corner over to the extreme hills over that way to finish. So we're slowly but surely getting the perimeter lined out and then we'll start digging as well. But that's something I'm doing mostly off camera because you have seen digging holes before. And in fact, if you've played Minecraft, you've done the same thing. So Anyway, nothing nothing pretty spectacular there. I'm also clearing out the trees, so we're going to have a pretty pretty good perimeter. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do just water covering here and do a high Y AFK design or if I'm going to just clear out the entire area. Who knows? We'll see. It's early on in the map, so we can take on big projects like that and not worry about potential uh, season-ending map resets or anything. Hopefully not, but... Anyway, next up on here, I need to make the drop chute and collection area. And then we've got to get a roof on this thing as well, or at least something that's going to limit the light levels on the inside here. And then, uh, hey, we'll, we'll be doing pretty good. But let me take care of this stuff off camera, and I'll bring you back once we've got some more progress. All right? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And let me show you a little bit of the progress. Look at that. It's a beautiful dirt box, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, we've got a dirt box. The reason why is that I don't want to do the roof right now. So you might have seen these. If you've been around Minecraft for a while, you've seen that people usually put these uh, weird looking roofs, uh, octagonal shapes above their witch farms. We're not going to do that. The design I've got in mind is going to be a little bit different. So instead, we're going to go with a dirt box for now to close off all the light that's going to be on the inside. But what I'm going to do is just carry you along a little bit here. You know what? I needed, I needed a few more supplies here. Let's just go grab some of these. Yeah, we'll do that and we'll get those stone brick slabs there on the hot bar. So what I wanted to do is just bring you along and tell you a little bit about how this farm works. I don't think I fully explained it, or at least I properly explained it. So, or I, I, I didn't properly explain it rather. And so what's gonna happen is the witches will spawn and when they spawn, they're going to trigger one of these tripwires, okay? So that's gonna send a signal into that solid block back there, the solid stone brick block back there. What that's then going to do is power this block, which then powers this sticky piston, which will push out this redstone block. Currently, this redstone block is, is on this hopper and locking that hopper. I should have some more dirt on me. Yeah, I should. Yep, there we go. All right, so right now inside this hopper is a piece of dirt, and this comparator is reading that item in there, powering this block, which is then extending this regular piston okay so now this regular piston is just sitting up here and behind that we're going to have some water all right so what's going to happen is when the witch spawns and triggers this to move this uh or this sticky piston to move this redstone block out the redstone block will then block this la this back hopper which will allow the item to move from here from this front hopper into the back one and it's not going to move back and so that will remove this uh, this charge or this signal coming from this comparator from this one uh, this block which will then retract this piston allowing the water to flow out and push the witch off and into the drop chute that we have done down below so what i've done off camera is i did say i was going to dig out the uh, drop chute and so i've done that and we've got a pretty large thing here i've got all the way uh, all the way under this witch farm dug out. We did have a little bit of a ravine situation. It's a very nice ravine, actually. It goes down to about 30, level 30, level 28, somewhere in there. But I've closed off the walls just so we don't get interruptions, if you know what I mean. So what we're going to do is uh, close off this light source here. And then we're going to put in the water. And hopefully I don't mess up the strings we're just going to do one of these ah uh, no you know what hmm that's going to be problematic yep so i don't think i can get yeah i can't get to that one quite yet so we will take off all those strings and hopefully i get all of them because i don't have extras on me at the moment so how many did we get we were at 30 and i got eight yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Is there any string hanging out back there? Hmm. hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Well, you know what we could do is, you know, we'll we'll try it. We'll try it. So we'll go like this, and just we'll we'll grab a, a source here. And if you don't know that trick, if you've got two water sources beside each other, they will form a water source in the middle. So there we go. And then what we do. So we'll just bring back our string right here and that should eventually okay there we go that we're we're good to go on that we've got 39 right there how many okay there we go so i was missing some right in the middle all right so i took care of two lines at the same time sorry for this it's a little bit derpy but i wanted to bring you along for a little bit of this process Okay, and where is it? Right there, 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 there. Okay, so you can kind of see that uh, process in place there. 
Hmm. <laughs> it looks like... So we're not... Okay, so we got a problem there. It doesn't look like we are properly removing that signal. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Maybe we just had some weird bud situation. Who knows? Go like that, and that, and that. There we go. All right. So that means we can now close up this bottom floor. Not like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the other two floors. And now that we've gotten rid of the lights on that one, we should be good to go. So let me do that. And then I will get a test, test platform going. And we'll see what our drops are. All right. Well, I took care of those other two platforms. And now you find me up here at Y155. Way, way up here. So there's the witch farm down there. You can see some of the... Well, you can see the inner inner perimeter and you can't quite see the external one or the exterior one and that's probably due to Optifine and the various video settings that I have in place but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'm gonna go AFK for a bit about 30 minutes or so and we'll just see how many drops we get we're we're still in range of all of the ground and we've still got some caves that are are unlit under the witch farm but this is as high as we can go without the witches despawning before they hit the collection area down below. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stay up here for a bit and, and then I'll let you know how long I stayed and we'll go take a look at the drops once we're done. All right, see you in a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back down at the collection area. I don't know if I properly showed this to you earlier or not. I can't remember putting these clips together in the manner in which I do. I tend to lose track until it comes time for editing, but I've been hoping to catch a couple of these witches dropping here. But anyway, I was up in that platform for about 20 minutes or so. So let's take a look. All in all, not too bad, given that we've got some other people on the line as well and a highly imperfect perimeter. So within 20 minutes, that's not too bad. We're going to have some renewable glowstone and redstone this is going to be great so what we're going to do let's do this maybe take a little screenshot there we go and i can let everyone on hypermind know that things are progressing we've still got a lot of work to do we've got a nice nice house to put around this thing we've got a perimeter to dig and anyway so this is going to be an ongoing project i don't know how much of the perimeter dig i'm going to bring you along for we shall see oh there we go good Good, good, good. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the farm, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below or catch me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great. But I've run out of time for this one. Join me next time. We'll probably be back in Port Hypermine. We've got some work to do on the house there. And then there are plenty of farms and things to do at the iron farm as well. So, yeah, anyway, we got plenty of things to do around the server. So more content coming your way. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. And if you'd like to be made aware of all the things happening here on the Hypermind server on this channel, think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you a dime and make sure that you know what's going on. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.